Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is the Bagga, and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible, like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now, before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's quickly start off with the game and see how it goes, which pieces we get. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6. And the main move is to go to d5, trying to take control of the center. Uh, three moves basically often has to then move the pawn forward. So the main line I can take on the pawn here. Takes with the knight. I go with knight, bishop on f5. Knight goes to g3. Bishop comes on g6. Is the general ideas. Oh, he doesn't. That's also okay. I can play pawn forward, e6. Continuing with my development. Um, playing knight can be bad because... Oh, no, it's okay. That's, that's fine. Looks fine. Yeah, playing knight looks fine. If even if he tries to pin, that's okay. I can take with the queen here. The idea is if he takes with the bishop now, I, can, I do not spoil my pawn chain, but take with the queen. So that was important. Yep, let's take with the queen. So white hasn't got a good development as you see up until now. So that's the whole point. You got decent structure, you developed all your pieces. And now you can just proceed with the natural game. You can cast either side of the board, depending on from where he's trying to attack. He'll not probably push the pawns from queen side, king side, but rather just play uh, something on the queen side, maybe. Uh, maybe develop the bishop somewhere, get the rook to be centralized. Goes with the knight. Oh, that's a strange move, I would say. Because pawn forward just, just goes on the spot. There's no cheap tactics involved here. He has to go back. Oh, trying to take on and do some activity here. Okay. I say, how is castling on the queen side? I maybe lose a rook after the exchange happens, so let's not do that. How is pawn forward? It's a strong move, I think. Yes, it is. He cannot defend both the pieces now, I think goes back um what do we do here i need to castle I need to castle now my rooks are connected so his knight has to retrieve now yep he goes back attacks my bishop as well i'll just defend the bishop maybe yeah decent idea trying to play pawn forward next move that was strange kind of an opening, I would say, by the opponent and attack as well. Haven't seen that before. So always nice to encounter stuff like that. Does pawn forward lose one of the pieces if he doesn't save one of them right away? Because the queen is always attacking the knight. Yep, that's why he defends. Okay, we can still proceed with the pawn. I don't mind doing this. Goes back. I can still again play the pawn forward. Is it too much? Not now, it's fine. If queen back here, he goes somewhere else completely. Which is okay. Let's get the rook active. Good option. He cannot do any discoveries because queen is guarded with the pawn. Yes, I can now proceed with my pawns. Try to break him open. Rooks are pretty active. I think this attack is going nice so far. And I see a weakness now. 
because his queen is not guarded. If he tries to take with the knight, that's end of the queen. So he cannot take. I can just still proceed with my pawn. He goes back and, oh, defends the queen. Uh, I can take the queen here. Is there a way to keep the queens on board? Uh, probably not. Let's take. It takes as well. I'll go here. H4. Trying to break him open. These rooks are pretty active, as I said, and should be winning. The opponent's playing nice, though. Uh, he can take here, so I have to take. Takes with the rook there, okay. Let's take on the pawn. Rook lift. If it exchanges, then fair enough. I get to take with the knight, or he goes back up to him. Takes, take back. Knight has to play a bit more efficient role here. Yeah, let's go with the knight first. Trying to go here. I have to keep my pawns on light squares because he has got a dark square bishop. I have to be careful for that. So just one pawn is on dark square. I can play at seven whenever I feel like. Um, Centralizing the rook helps. Maybe bishop here. Yep. Expected correct. I can go forward. I can come back. Let's go here. If rook comes here, I'm going to go on here. Yep. The idea is to take on this one. Of course, we can come back as well and fork a couple of pieces. So one of them is going. And that had to be the poor bishop. He takes with the pawn. Huh? Interesting idea, trying to attack my pawn as well. Let's take control of the file. No free pawns available. It's an end game. Okay, let's go with the king. Mm, but which side? <laughs> Play pawn forward, maybe. Maybe not. Not pretty confident of that. Uh, exchanging rooks again not sure let's wait let's wait for the opponent to do something we we'll close go slow trying to just control take control of the file okay he comes forward that's nice and push him back by playing pawn forward again He comes ahead and said and finds a way to get into my pieces there i can play pawn forward he cannot take because he lose the rook on the spot mm -hmm. now i can take and probably give a check goes here maybe and I can come here, maybe give a check, take this pawn. Let's proceed with this pawn first. I'm willing to see where he goes. Okay, let's go here. After he takes, I can give a check from here. The idea is to grab some other pawn. He takes mine. Okay, he takes another there. <laughs> uh, 
okay you can save both for now but not now okay that was nice i come here i take this take this go here take on this ah that's losing but can i flag him can i just beat him on time somehow maybe he's not able to mate less time there okay he's playing fast he won on time so it's a draw because he lost on time couldn't convert the position he had the queen on the board but couldn't mate so yeah i would take a draw there i was losing on position let's analyze the game quickly once we went, we went wrong probably gave too many pawns at the end could have played better let's analyze the game it was start with e4 i played c6 d5 the Khan defense go with uh the main variation there i take on the pawn he takes with the knight yes right moves as i was expecting he will go back uh with knight to g3 but doesn't develops the bishop ah, i got the free pawn there and missed it that's the problem should have taken that takes the knight i take with the queen he takes i take back so development wise as i said in the game as well we're pretty good castles i get the knight first he plays the knight over there play h6 perfectly fine how's this losing exactly okay i can castle i didn't castle i was wondering that if i castle and he takes on with the queen and if we exchange the queens he gets to take on the rook that was what i was thinking but instead after he takes with the queen i need not take his queen i can take the knight and i'm winning there that was simple ah missed it not the right day maybe that was easy from there i played um g6 and said he goes back again i can just get my bishop and win a piece maybe but i still didn't do that i'm preparing to castle trying to put my king to safety so i'm finding some safety squares but not doing a counter attack which was possible until here when i start pushing my pawn forward he goes back computer saying take the queens and spoil his pawn structure i didn't i go with g4 he gets his queen to d3 i get the other rook into the attack all nice here pushing the pawn forward he goes there why did i play this knight move i just had to play h4 instead nah missed it there he pushes and here i take on the queen he takes back i still go ahead with the pawn he doesn't take it which was also okay not much loss there in the violation bar he takes and we saying proceed with the pawn because the pawn is too much strong and after the end game happens it will probably be much stronger uh, i just take on the pawn he takes open up the file which is again nice go for the exchange draw situation here as you see in the evaluation bar slightly varying both the sides again he had the opportunity to print this time doesn't i go back and then folk take on bishop again i didn't have to i just had to play pawn forward so many mistakes in a game i i can't realize i can't understand that how can i do that if he takes i'm getting with the rook and that's going to be quick mate as well if he doesn't take now because if pawn forward that's mate in one that could have been easy again i took on exchanges happen I tried to go with my king. Evaluation is still same. Not much. There's just one bad move at the end with, where I have completely goofed up. Maybe c5 was losing. Yeah, c5 was bad, but he got the rook there. I tried to break open the file there. He tries to attack the pawn. I take. This is already losing, as you see. I'm just trying to uh, f check. He has to, he can go back as well, defend the pawn. And then I can proceed with the rook as well. 
he goes back. I cannot take anything. I can just move up. And he gets to take a pawn there. And I still can just move. If here I try to save, so probably he won't go there, but trying to take up the other pawn. And then I, I also get the compensation. Hmm. This could have been a way. I just made this one. So yeah, it was a nice game. I, I enjoyed it. Um, could have been a lot better if I would have played more carefully, more aggressively actually in the opening part. Uh, but yeah, things like those happen days off days, I would say. Um, thanks for watching the video. Do let me know your feedback. And yeah, do comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.